It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Colin Jost. I'm Michael Che. Amazon, Amazon <laughs> has announced that it will be opening its second headquarters in Queens, New York, and Arlington, Virginia, after it accidentally left both cities in its cart. <laughs> A lot of New Yorkers are worried about the impact Amazon will have on Queens, but I'm more worried about the impact Queens will have on Amazon. By the way, only New Yorkers could complain about getting 25,000 new jobs. All the cities who lost out must be like, shut up, you whiny bitches. <laughs> new York basically won the lottery and we're like, oh, but the subways might be slightly more crowded. Meanwhile, people in West Virginia are like, well, back to the mines. <laughs> And yeah, I know it's going to raise housing prices, but it's a little late for New Yorkers to complain about rent. I mean, even Amazon had to move to Queens because it couldn't afford to live in Manhattan. <laughs> Election officials in Florida said their ballot machines overheated, causing mismatched results in the recount. Word? They overheated in 2018 with all this technology? I have a watch that can count every step I take and lets me watch porno on the treadmill for motivation. But your voting machines can't even handle a little recount? How come the IRS never has these problems? I would love to hear we didn't count your taxes this year because our abacus is busted again. <laughs> they always make it so simple to pay taxes. Meanwhile, to vote, we got to physically line up on a Tuesday in November like we're getting meat rations in the 1930s. <laughs> a county in Florida became the first local government in the state's history to elect an all-LGBTQ government. For more on this, bring it up to your grandpa at Thanksgiving. <laughs> On Friday, President Trump held the Presidential Medal of Freedom ceremony and gave one to Yankee legend Babe Ruth because he knew that no current athlete would actually show up. Because <laughs> they're all black. President Trump, announced, <laughs> President Trump announced that Republicans and Democrats have agreed on a criminal justice reform bill. By the way, nothing makes me more nervous than seeing Donald Trump making an announcement with, like, Five black dudes standing behind him. My first thought is always, oh, Lord, how much did they sell us for? <laughs> anyway, this prison reform <laughs> is a good thing and probably a trap. At best, it's a good thing, but coming from a bad place. Like when you buy baby clothes from a crackhead. I mean, it might be a great deal, but at the same time, you're like, so this dude stole clothes from a baby? <laughs> According to new reports, six days before WikiLeaks released hacked emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign, Roger Stone, who I believe runs a haunted carnival, <laughs> received a text from a friend reading, Hillary Clinton's campaign will die this week, even though the actual moment her campaign died was when she said this. Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> I bet Trump is hoping she'll Pikachu's to run again. 